Ken Noguchi, the famous Japanese mountain climber, was the first person in the world to start cleaning up the Himalayan peaks. He returned again in 2006 to collect garbage for the fifth time. Dig into the snow and ice on the slopes near the summit of the mountains over 8,000 meters above sea level, and all kinds of discarded climbing gear emerges, including frozen tents. The huge amount of garbage remains just as it was when left behind by members of countless climbing expeditions. An empty oxygen cylinder weighs several kilograms, so one person can carry down only two or three at a time. The cleaning expedition consists of about 30 people, including Sherpas. The job entails many dangers, such as the risk of avalanches and slipping down an icy slope. Noguchi succeeded in reaching the summit of Mount Everest at the age of 25 and was the youngest person ever to climb the highest peaks on all seven continents. During those ascents, he unexpectedly came across a huge amount of garbage. From the names of the products and the identification marks written on them by their owners, he could tell both the nationality and the identity of the particular expedition that had left them behind. Many of the perpetrators turned out to be from Asian countries, and European climbers often leveled criticism at Noguchi about it. I felt very frustrated. I wanted to argue back, but I couldn't because the garbage in front of us was definitely Japanese. Sadly, I couldn't argue back. After climbing Mount Everest, he came up with the idea of setting Climbing for Cleaning as his life work. Noguchi tried hard to promote his unprecedented scheme. He gradually found companies and other supporters who offered funds. With the help of other Asian climbers, he succeeded in collecting 7.7 .7 tons of garbage in four years. Unburnable garbage was taken back to Japan and Korea and exhibited to urge people to pay attention to the environment. To reveal the current situation, Noguchi decided to exhibit mountain garbage at the event commemorating the 50th anniversary of the first ascent of Mount Everest in 2003. His action drew a lot of attention from those involved in climbing worldwide. The Nepali government brought in a law obliging expeditions to take their garbage away with them and decided to impose a fine of $4,000 on violators. Noguchi's actions also found a sympathetic ear in Korea, and in June 2006, a Korean expedition carried out climbing for cleaning on K2, widely regarded as the most difficult mountain to climb after Mount Everest. Today, Noguchi's actions have expanded to a zero garbage campaign on Mount Fuji, the highest peak in Japan. Around 3,000 volunteers are now involved in cleaning the mountain, and several tons of garbage are collected every year. Thanks to Noguchi's efforts, the number of climbing for cleaning advocates is steadily increasing around the world. <laughs>